Some people ask, well, are you a fundamentalist? Or they accuse you of being a fundamentalist? And this is a trick question. What does that mean? If you want to go with the actual historical definition of what a fundamentalist is, then it doesn't make sense to apply to a Muslim. Because the term fundamentalist came about due to the differences in kind of the Christian church. Once the Big Bang Theory and evolution came about, and then there was a split in the church, the Protestant church, between those that were going to reform themselves and those who are going to remain sort of on the old teachings and get back to the fundamentals or stick to the fundamentals. That's where fundamentalist comes from. Okay, so how does that have to do with us, right? You're a fundamentalist Christian if you believe that the Bible is the actual word of God, okay? If you're going to use the same criteria for Muslims, then every single one of us is a fundamentalist. We all believe that the Quran is the word of God, right? So it doesn't translate. And certain things, a lot of a lot of religious concepts and theological concepts don't translate. What people really mean when they say it is it's a smear. Whatever bad religious guy that they have in mind, and it's a it's a shifting goalpost, there's no strict, you know, definition to it. That's who they're going to label as a fundamentalist, and they're labeling you as a fundamentalist so that they can punish you in some sort of way. Either dismiss you, delegitimize what you have to say, or potentially make you, yeah, the suspicious, uh, you know, a, a suspect when it comes to uh, either the violence of the state or the police or the FBI, or if you're abroad, you know, the, the army or whatever, right? But it's a ridiculous notion because it has no actual definition to me. It's just like terrorist. Who's a terrorist, right? Some people could, if they look back into history, they could say that the founding fathers of America were terrorists, right? If the British wrote the history, you know, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and the Boston Tea Party and all these things, oh, they were just terrorists, right? We don't have a a strict definition. And so people throw this term around and they label whoever they disagree with or whoever they don't want as that name. A fundamentalist is the same. You, you're you scared of religious people or you have a low opinion of religious people. You think that religious people are intolerant or you think that religious people are particularly prone to violence in a way that non-religious people aren't. So you're going to label anybody who believes that their thing is right as a fundamentalist? You think somebody who believes that their religion is the only true religion, that's a fundamentalist? That's, I got news for you. That's, that's half the world, at least. It's not, Islam does not have a monopoly on that disposition. You go to ask, ask Buddhists, you go to ask Hindus, you go to ask other people, not the westernized ones that come through in the English language. You go to these places and you ask people, are these other religions correct? I'll say, no way, ours is the one that's correct. Everybody's a fundamentalist. Come on. We need to have language that's more refined and we need to have more intellectual and academic discussions about these sorts of things. If you don't like something that I believe in or you disagree with a concept in my religion, then let's talk about that instead of labeling each other with these childish empty names just to kind of dismiss each other.